We are back on our small town, Indiana, Odin, Indiana. And it's right over here. It's the village of Spires and you can see them right there. This quaint town of Odenburg is amazing. And we are standing by the Maypole. So this town was formed uh, back in the late 1800s. What happened was is a lot of German immigrants that were in living in Cincinnati, we're only about 45 miles from Cincinnati. They came here in this little town, this little settlement in the hills of Southern Indiana, and they started their own village. I understand that they spoke mostly German back in the day here, but uh, so all these churches have all these spires. They call this the village of spires. Let's go in town and take a look. And we're gonna go into the village market. Here we go. So one of the beautiful churches in this town is the Holy Family Church. It has one of the beautiful spires that comes out the top. It's interesting is you can see this from miles away. So they have the Holy Family Church here and then there's also a convent up here. I'm gonna walk up here and show you, but beautiful church and beautiful spires. Isn't this building beautiful? So this is a convent uh, of the Sisters of St. Francis. Uh, it was, it sign says, it was uh, built in 1851. And um, man, it's still here today. It's just beautiful and uh, it's a nice day enjoying looking at it. So another building with the spires on top of it that you can see for just miles away. So. Anyway, I'm going to walk over here. I see another spire. We're going to take a look at it All too. Right, I walked down here to check out this other spire. And what it is, is it is on top of the original church that was here. So when they came here, they built one church. And uh, actually, they're, most of them are attached to each other. So it's actually one church, the Holy Family Church. And but this is the original church that they built when they first settled the area. And it has a small spire, but the spires kept getting bigger as they built onto the church. And of course, then across the street and everything is the convent and it has its own spire on it. Even the town hall has a little spire on it. So yeah, Odenburg, Indiana, the town of spires, as they say. So yeah, take a look at the uh, Indiana limestone. You can tell it was made just from um, the materials they had in the area. So I'm gonna walk up the street here because I see Nancy and Herky sitting here in the shade up by the town hall. So let's walk up here and join them and see what they've discovered since they've been here. All right, I got up here and I caught up with Nancy and Herky. Hi, Herky. They're sitting here in front of the town hall, which used to be, looks like a fire station, but... But uh, the new fire station is next door. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so. and then they have the community board right over here, Ed will show you. And it's also right behind us is the war memorial that you'd love to see. I do, I like to look at those, so... All right, now that I picked up these two, let's start walking further up into town. back in the car it is hot outside it's like 92 I think something I like that <laughs> and we have to find a picnic spot for our lunch here soon hopefully in the shade right? oh my so we had to get Herky back in the car and let him cool off a minute since I'm here in the car I got my handy dandy chopstick and uh, those there's a lot of you that like to see on a map where we're at so let me turn the camera around and you can see where we're at so right here is the Indianapolis uh, metropolitan area and there's a lot of really nice back roads down here. So right now what we've done is we've taken this and uh, we're all the way down here in what's called Oldenburg, Indiana. 
Uh, you can see here's the Ohio border. So not too far from Ohio, but uh, that's where we're at. And uh, we've been in this village of Spires. What our plan is now is we're going to go from Oldenburg up to Greensburg. There's something interesting in Breens Greensburg we want to show you guys. We plan on going from Oldenburg to Greensburg up to Rushville today. So let's get on the road. Greetings again. from Greensburg, Indiana. For some reason, Indiana likes their green. I don't know there why. Is Greensburg, Greenwood, Greenfield, green, green Castle, Greenfield and Greenfield and I don't know there's several greens so we always get mixed up in that where I'm at so we've made our way here this is the uh, in Greenfield Indiana Greensburg Indiana yeah there we and go. this town was founded in 1822 and that's when this courthouse was built but you notice a lot of them that we show you it has Indiana limestone this one has it only at the bottom and over to the side it'll show you that addition was built in 1992, but they've connected them in a really unique way. Ed has to show you that. So there's something very special about this courthouse. On gonna, the other side. On the other side, we're gonna take you around there and show it to you. Yeah, here we go. Like so many of our small towns here in Indiana, this one has a buffalo for Decatur Township. And a few years ago, they were all displayed at the state fair. So here it is. Herky hasn't noticed it yet because he's afraid of them. Look at this. Can you see it? Right there on the top of the steeple of the courthouse. So that's why Greensburg, Indiana is so unique. In 1870s, they noticed a sprig was growing out of the top of the courthouse. It soon reached about five inches in diameter and the townspeople got very concerned it was going to cause damage to the steeple itself. So they hired a steeplejack. He repelled his way down there and cut the tree down. Just a short time later, they noticed another sprig coming up. So they decided they would just make this the Tower Tree Courthouse. So ever since then, there's been other trees that have died, but they always keep a tree going in the steeple of the courthouse in Greensburg, Indiana. Wow, look at this. So just a few blocks off the courthouse here in Greensburg, Indiana is a Carnegie Library we found. Um, just stumbled on this we always like to look at these they're really fantastic just had to show you rushville indiana rush county courthouse behind us and it does not disappoint indiana limestone baby and it's on a square man alive this is our third small town indiana courthouse today and we, our first limestone we have been really busting it today <laughs> oh man and so, we are about to lose daylight i think we have an hour and a half left we keep piddling around here at these places along the way and sometimes we lose track of time but <laughs> okay at the end of the day here we're going to walk around this courthouse take a look rushville indiana you might ask yourself who in the world is from rushville indiana well wendell wilkie would be from Rushville, Indiana, presidential candidate at one time. Just one of the famous people from Rushville, Indiana. You know, one of the things about these small towns in Indiana is there's really good living here. Um, good people and just good, clean living, small town Indiana. We're standing here on the courthouse and looking around and uh, across the street here is a small town radio station, 94.3 The Wife. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> WIFE is the name of the radio station. Every little small town has their own radio station, but they are the home of country music, WIFE. So there you go, wife, you could get a job there. Who else is from Rushville? Oh, uh, the Rushville Rocket, Tony Stewart, uh, NASCAR. If you're a NASCAR fan. Yeah, yeah. so 
Anyway, we're going to continue walking so we're around. Walking down the road, one of the things I do is I pick up some trash every once in a while and throw it away if I see it. So, seeing this laying there, got all excited. Lottery ticket laying on the ground. Honey, you think we won? No, we did not. <laughs> nope. It's a losing lottery ticket. I so, do find it interesting. This town, if you look, most of the buildings are full. Yes. And look, they have like the seniors pictures up on the banners. Yeah. On so, Main Street. So I guess they didn't have, wasn't able to have a graduation. Hi. <laughs> I guess they weren't able to have a graduation this year. So all the banners are the seniors uh, from the high school. So that's pretty cool. One of the things I'm doing here is we're walking up here down the main street because there's a store up here that I used to go to when I was a kid and I didn't even know they existed anymore. So let's take a look at that. Oh, in the meantime, I'm going to throw away this losing lottery ticket. Here, a Radio Shack store. This was my favorite stores when I was a kid. I could go into Radio Shack and spend hours looking around. From our videos, you think everything always goes perfect in our world. <laughs> Look at this. We're going down the road and Herky got sick for some reason. <laughs> and Nancy rolled down the window and stuck his head out. And he puked all down the side of our car. So, yeah, everything doesn't always go perfect in the world of hanging with Herky. In an earlier video, you remember we saw one of the Kennedy uh, brothers bridges and they were from Rushville. Well here's another one. It's the Smith Bridge. So I'm inside the bridge and just look at these beams. So they uh, had these arch beams here and they went all the way down to the foundation. Um, one of the unique things about these bridges that were built by the Kennedy brothers is that what they would do is they would go up into Michigan and look at white pine and buy white pine in Michigan and load it on rail or however they could and get it down here to Indiana. And they built these bridges all in this area. They were, they were, they were a pretty well-known bridge builder back in the day. So as you can see, I think this bridge was built in 1877 uh, by the Kennedy brothers out of White Pine from Michigan. Okay, it's time to end this and take this dog for a walk. See you later. So we apologize if you were eating dinner while watching this. So uh, we thought the day was over. Now we got to clean our car. We'll catch you later.